Hey, tentacle beast. You're an asshole. Yeah. Fucking toad. He doesn't know shit about how much of an asshole he is. Oh shit. Alright, alright. Go for it, tentacle. Get out of my way. What? Not giving a single fuck! Mission not give a single fuck complete. Alright, so now I need to go back up and turn on that last valve. And then back through to the main room, where I should, I think, be able to open that other door now. Well, after I turn on the, uh, after I turn on the yes. I think. I think I'm doing approximately the correct thing. Let's even close this door and get, like, super filling up with gas mode activated in that room. Alright, so I go back through here. Do, 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 do. Man, I really hope the game has another autosave sometime soon, because I don't want to do all that shit again. I'd be so mad, bro. I think I should just try and focus on not fucking up. Alright, yeah, see, now I can see the gas through there. This is partially open. Alright, well, let's try the button. Oh, whoa, 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 easy to kill, easy- Whoa, holy fuck! Ow! Son of a bitch! Tore my face open something fierce! I tried to get out of the way, but... I was too slow. Alright. I don't know why that exploded when I opened the door. That doesn't really make sense, but it's really good. Alright. Well, that's cleared out the monster, zombie, demon, ghost, shoga th Let's get through here. I hated that guy so much. I hated him more than I can believe. He was just a jerk. He tried to kill me and everything. Felt felt so so very bad. Oh, Cthulhu, sup, bro? Not afraid of you. Huh? <laughs> huh? Punch you in the dick. Your face, dick. One of your many face dicks. Huh? Ah. Oh wow! Suddenly got super nice in here. All all this masonry and shit. Wow, I'm I'm totally okay with it. I got a bad feeling about this room. Hey, bro, what's up? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take. I can't pick it up. The gem is firmly locked to the. Oh! Uh, wow, this place really needs to get cleaned up. Sound is dirty as all hell. All right, well, let's just. Broseph, you okay, bro? Oh shit, he's spazzing the fuck out. Oh, I can push this around. All right, well, let's just let's just take this with us. Let's just grab this thing and leave. Oh, I'm gonna run out of I'm gonna run out of room on the floor before it is time. Nah, I'm I'm pretty sure I can just push this pedestal over and uh, and take the whole thing back. To All right. I'm not gonna lie, guys. The reason I was doing that was because I don't really want to push this over towards the giant statue of Cthulhu. I think bad shit's gonna go down, but it seems like that's what I have to do. So. All right, Cthulhu. I don't give a fuck about your shit. I'm gonna give you this gem, and you're going to leave Brittany alone. Also, Battlefield Three. It's you, isn't it? You're the one making all those threads on the Battlefield Three forums, complaining about a name bullshit that isn't really a problem. That's how you're trying to make me insane. You son of a bitch, Cthulhu. Right? That doesn't seem to serve any purpose either. What's the deal with this? Hmm. Interesting. Laser. Oh, hey, there's a red gem over that door, so I, I bet I have to put this somewhere so that... I guess one of that thing just moved. I'm guessing I have to position this thing correctly so the laser will go through this gem, and then hit the gem above the door. That's my guess. I feel like we're gonna have to push it a little bit 
this way to do that, just look at the angle we got before. Alright, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do with that. Uh, maybe a little bit too far? A little bit too far. Back this way. Let's try that. We're pretty close. Oh yeah, there we go. Ditch it. No, no, not quite right, I guess. Looked like it. Just a tiny bit more back this way. Was it actually in the exact right place to begin with? I don't think so. I think it had to go slightly moved. What the fucking dicks? Come on. Ah, the claw can't be pried open with my bare hands. Why is my sanity suddenly getting so low? Did that actually do something? Right, missing now. Let me go back this way. Maybe, maybe it's just something about this room makes your dude fucking lose his shit. Seems to have stopped losing his shit, so that's good. I can't laser beam anymore. I can't have laser beam anymore. Oh, it opened. Okay, cool, we got this. Excellent. Let's get out of here. I don't know what the fuck this little red gem is for, but hey. At last, we found you. It's nice of you fellas to show up. What the hell is this place? It's some sort of shrine. Probably used by the marshes for private worship. And the oversized gargoyle? That's no gargoyle, Agent. That's Cthulhu. Fellas, this chamber's about to be buried under four floors of brick and metal. That's not okay, good. Walters, let's get out of here before this place blows. The entire place is going to explode. Fuck! Do not want... We must escape! A... Ice cream man's going by. You guys hear that? I know you can't reply to me saying you can or not, but it seems appropriate for this game somehow. The horror of green sleeves. The Order of Dagon, February 9th, 1922, night. That was one big explosion in the refinery, dudes. One moment I was running for my life, the next I was face down with a mouthful of dirt, man. I just hope everything inside was destroyed. What the hell was that thing in there? Some kind of monster jellyfish? How could it move out of water? How could it even exist? My ears are still ringing with the screams of Hoover's men as they ascetic slime engulf them. Despite the casualties, though, the raid hit pay dirt. The feds recovered a briefcase with some very incriminating papers. It seems that, among other things, the Marsh family, Sebro in particular, has been trafficking with enemies of the state. He's been offering a contagion, some kind of germ weapon, to the highest bidder. This is in violation of all kinds of international treaties, but that didn't surprise me. Even if the Marshes care about such things, which I doubt, I could well believe that news of the treaties had ever reached Innsmouth. But I know there's more to the story. Like that shrine on the lower floor of the refinery, man. The carvings of those hideous gods are one thing more that will probably haunt my dreams for some time to come. Why do they seem familiar? Whatever, I probably saw it on Animal Planet. In any case, the evidence of arms dealing gave Hoover what he needed to bring in the big guns. Literally. Innsmouth is now under martial law. A Coast Guard cutter is stationed in the harbor with a company of marines on shore. Led by Robert Marsh, the surviving members of the Esoteric Order of Dagon are holed up in the Mas old Masonic Hall. I suggested pounding the place to dust with the marines' artillery and the cutter guns. But Hoover wants Marsh alive. That's not going to be easy. The Marines who attacked the main entrance to the building went into some kind of psychotic seizure before they could reach it. It's totally uncool, man. The brass thought Marsh had laid down some kind of gas in the area, but gas masks didn't help the second storming party. And it was a pretty lame party, all things considered. Although, psychotic seizures are common at all my parties, I guess. That was when Hoover remembered a report of an old smuggler's tunnel, close by the banks of the Mannix River that was said to lead into the building from below. It seems my good luck just never ends. With so many agents killed and wounded in the refinery, Hoover has decided that I'll have the dubious honor of representing the FBI in an attack through this secret entrance, in company with a squad of Marines. I have to meet up with Sergeant Carter and his men by the refinery gates, then we'll set out along the frozen river looking for the tunnel. I may never sleep again. Not that I wanted to anyway. Got a party all night. Not that it would make much difference. 
The waking sounds and visions are getting worse all the time. Though if they are linked with the LSD here in Ensmith, I mean events here in Ensmith, maybe getting to the bottom of this horror will help me recover my lost memories. Yeah, Jack Walter is, is some kind of surfy, stoner, party bro dude guy now, apparently. I don't know, man! Alrighty. Apparently, what's Marines? Marines to Marine the Marines. Have been able to determine the location of this old smuggling route? Not yet. Our intelligence estimates the most likely site would be further downstream. Wow, you have shifty eyes, bro. Over, so we should be just fine on foot. Let's get moving. All right, Brosef, we gotta roll, dude guy. Do I have some kind of gun firearm, or do I, do I just only have this pistol? Guys. Give me some better guns, fuck! Apparently I can't, uh, can't get move out enough to wait for these guys to go first. Cool, fine by me. Keep your eyes peeled and your weapons ready. Does anybody else think having your eyes peeled sounds just, like, enormously painful? I think I'm gonna call this apart when I get to the next save point, but who knows when that'll be. Oh, what the shit is that? Fishman! You fucking assholes! Oh, they're trying to ambush us. Right behind you, Jack. Move out. Guys, we're gonna be ambushed by fish bros. Get the hell down that road now. No, man, we gotta kill the fish bros. Stop them from ambushing our shit. All right, you want me to go? All right, fine. Let's roll. Let's get the fuck out of here. Whoa, whoa, easy there, killer. Auto. Oh, no. Jack, Jack, you're falling through the ice. Jack, I guess that wasn't quite what I was supposed to do. You know what? I'm actually going to call it apart there, guys. And uh, we will resume next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Trouble Decat out.